many students stumble on the concept of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So let me try to explain this concept. Let me try to explain the intuition behind them. Uh, so maybe we should start from the very beginning, the simplest idea of doing multiplication. So let's consider the simplest doubling operation, which is multiplied by 2. Let's say we have a number 1, we can do multiply by 2. That gives us 2. We can have a, another number 3, multiply by 2, which is 6. So, very simple. These are scalar, multiply by scalar operations. They are simple, but they are very limited. So we call this scalar multiplication. Let's make it a, a little more complicated. For example, here if we look at the the number 1 and 3, both are multiplied by 2, right? So we can collect them to make a vector 1, 3, and we can do a vector by scalar multiplication. And this is actually the same as the scalar and the vector. We multiply them together, and it becomes the element-wise multiplication. So this is 2 and 6. Roughly speaking, you can see this as a like a, a compact way of writing uh, this. However, it has a geometric meaning, so let's plot this in a 2D plane. So 1, 3, that's a vector here. Let's, let's say this is 1, and this is 3, so 1, 3, that's a vector here. Sorry about the join. And when we say multiply by 2, then we're basically doubling the vector to here. And this is 2 and 6. So this is a doubling operation. What it does is uh, uh, multiplication by 2, we scale anything uh, by 2. So this is a scalar multiplication. For example, if we have a vector here, what it does is to make it twice as long. Uh, if I take another vector here, it will also make it uh, twice as long. So uh, the point is that uh, multiply by 2 has a geometric meaning when we look at the vector space. However, this concept is still very limited. For example, in this 2D space, I want to do something more complicated. But uh, uh, the scalar multiplication cannot. For example, uh, I have this vector, that, let's say it's a unit vector, uh, and this is another unit vector. If I just do the multiply, multiply by 2 operation, each vector will be twice as long. This one will be here, and this one will be here. And if we take a vector of 45 degree uh, angle here, it will be here. We can see that uh, uh, along all the directions, no matter it's x direction or y direction, the vector is extended by two, by 2. What if I don't want to do this? I want to make it a bit more complicated. For example, in the x direction, I want it to be twice as long, but in the y direction, I want to make it three times as long. So I want to make this vector here to here, and uh, this vector, this vector along the y direction, three times as long, not twice as long, then multiply by 2 is not sufficient. What we can do is we do a matrix multiplication. We multiply by, actually, the, the matrix uh, 2, 0, 0, 3, multiply by a vector, x and y. And if you do this, you can see along the x direction, it's going to be twice as long. And along the y direction, it's going to be three times as long. And this 2 and 3, they are actually the eigenvalues of this matrix. So here we have a matrix by vector multiplication. Uh, no, notice that we cannot flip them. Um, we have to have the matrix here uh, uh, to the right and the vector to the left. And the, the diagonal elements it's a diagonal matrix, and the diagonal elements are actually the eigenvalues of this matrix. Uh, 
So the meaning of uh, 203 here is that uh, uh, basically it does things different along different directions. Um, along one direction, it's double, it's doubling. Uh, for the other direction, it's tripling. Now let's see the 45 degree angle vector here. So it's basically just one one, and if we multiply by if we multiply this matrix to the vector one one here, we're going to end up with a vector here. So that's two and three. Why do we need something like this? Why do we need this generalization? Well, it it turns out to be very useful in many many applications. In other words, it's too limited if we just can do this scalar multiplication. We need this matrix multiplication. And the uh, eigenvalues basically telling us how the multiplication is done along different directions. Now we can make it a, a little more general. Notice that uh, here the matrix we have just a diagonal matrix. All the off diagonal elements are just a zero. What if we have a matrix in this form? So this is full matrix. Uh, it's not just a simple diagonal matrix now. Uh, for this one is the um, eigenvalue. Uh, how do we compute the eigenvalues? We can we can actually follow the proper procedure. But uh, note here that uh, the eigenvalues will not be simply just the diagonal elements. So for for this one, uh, if you compute the eigenvalues, they are actually still just as uh, two and three. So in some sense, it's a rotation of the matrix we worked on here, but it's rotated. And uh, the previously we had these two vectors, uh, one along x direction, one along y direction. One is extended by two times, and the other is extended by three times. Here, the are also rotated. So one vector is here, the other vector is here. This vector will, uh, along this direction, um, the matrix multiplication is to make it uh, twice as long, and uh, along this direction, the matrix multipl multiplication is to make it three times as long. In other words, if you are given by a matrix in this type of form, Normally, you cannot tell the eigenvalues or eigenvectors directly, but you can do a, you can do the calculation or you can do eigenvalue decomposition. You find the eigenvalues, and you find the eigenvectors. The eigenvectors corresponding to the eigenvalues. So, uh, along this eigenvector direction, everything will be multiplied by this number, this eigenvalue number, and along this direction. Uh, the the vectors will be multiplied by three times the eigenvalue here. Um, notice that all the eigenvectors should always be orthogonal. So that was a very simple introduction of the fundamental intuition or insight behind eigenvalues and eigenvectors. The matrix multiplication is a little similar to normal scalar multiplication, but a lot more complicated. And it does the scaling differently for different directions. So the the different orthogonal directions are basically the eigenvectors of that matrix. And along each of those directions, the eigenvalue is the scaling factor. So the takeaway is that when you see some new mathematical concepts or mathematical uh, the equations, try to understand the basics, try to understand What's what it says in the simplest form and how it's generalized from the simplest to be more complicated, to be more general.